What's going on, everybody? This is Mark West from Club Guinea Pig. I am your Club Guinea Pig, and today I'm going to do a quick overview of none other than the amazing human growth and development CLEP exam. Now, before I get into it, I must let you know if you don't already know, starting uh, probably more than likely, actually, yes, definitely. Uh, mid to late November to early December, I will be uh, retaking all of the CLEP exams I have taken, um, plus a few more. So it's, I think overall it's going to be a total of about 15 to 17 CLEP exams I'm going to be retaking. Um, and you definitely want to uh, check me out for that because I'm going to be doing in-depth review videos. I'm going to be starting a new website called CLEP with Mark where I'll be hosting these videos um, I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to charge for access to these videos, probably during the process I won't, but when I'm all done and I have every video up, I probably will charge like a super duper small fee, like maybe like five bucks for lifetime access, something like that. So, um, definitely be on the lookout for that. Uh, and if you get on the, the list, uh, which I'll put the, in the description box, how you can get on the contact list, I'll be hitting you up and you can just catch them as I, as I do them. Um, and you can uh, get on, uh, excuse me, not get on the schedule, but you can check out my schedule for when I'm taking my exams. Um, also, I will put this uh, link in the description box to this page as well, so you can have this. Um, so I'm not going to read this overview here because I don't want to bore you to death. But what I will do is point out that you're going to have approximately 90 minutes to answer 90 questions. So that's actually pretty cool because you can break that down to like one one minute per question, right? Um, which is kind of a good metric to use. Um, this is really important information that a lot of people don't take into account is how much time you're going to have and how many questions. It's really important to try to do the math and break that down. Um, so that way you're not spending too much time on one question. Uh, one of the best test taking strategies for any standardized exam or any big exam you're taking is to go through everything and answer everything that you know first, spend the least amount of time doing that answering everything that you know then go back and spend that extra time on the things that you had a uh, little trouble with right that's like one of the best uh, strategies you can possibly do and they work marvelously for a club exam especially one like this because this exam is definitely going to be heavy vocabulary based and we'll get into that here in a second um, definitely read over the knowledge and skills required some good information to hear but this is the gold mine this is what you want to focus on okay you want to focus on the breakdown all right, and as you can see, there's quite a few things in this exam. Some of these exams are broken down, like all the way broken down, and some of these exams are kind of like chunked out. You'll have like 50% on this, 20% on that, but this one is broke down, broke down. This one is broken down all the way. So this is one of those exams where I, you know, I always tell people vocabulary will save you vocabulary will save you on this exam all right now i'll get into that you can check out the review video that i did when i last took this exam but it's really really pertinent that you understand that okay because as you can see there's a lot of different concepts um a lot of a lot of uh, topics and subtopics here and um the best way to attack an exam like this i'm gonna tell you straight up is to understand each and every one of these concepts um making flashcards is really great um, and to basically break them down and any vocabulary that may accompany these topics to understand them. I'm telling you, it'll save you. It'll work wonders for you. It's a great test taking strategy. Take it from me. Um, and again, I'll put the, the link to my review video. So definitely read over these, write them down, research them, and then scroll on down here, right? And check out these amazing study resources here. You get a whole list of textbooks that the College Board provides. Definitely check that out. Um, there's places you can rent textbooks. Chegg is a, is a great place for that. You know, it's cheap. Um, you don't have to buy it outright. And you can actually, a lot, of them, a lot of the times, they'll have digital textbooks where you can access it right then and there. Um, so work smarter, not harder. Remember that, um, you know, most, if not all, of the CLEP exams are derived from textbooks themselves. So, I mean, come on, why not use the, the resource or why not use the source that are that um, the exams are actually created from. It only makes sense, right? So definitely just keep that in mind. And then of course, don't forget to come down here and check out your free resources. Bam, there's Modern States. Modern States is a really great resource. Um, and I said this before and I'll say it again, um, you know, utilize those free resources as much as possible. I'm gonna be doing full review videos on Modern States um, uh, here probably 
towards the end of the year as well. So be on the lookout for those. But um, if you guys want to get in touch with me, you if you don't know, I'm going to tell you how. You can shoot me a text at 619-432-5947. You can shoot me an email, ask at clepguineapig.com. I'm more than happy to help you out with whatever you need. I'm looking forward to uh, hearing from everybody. Please feel free to reach out. Until next time, I'm out.